Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math 4, Quarter 4, Week 6 Milk Base Let's learn about Drawing inferences involving double bar graph At the end of this lesson, you are expected to draw inferences based on data presented in double bar graph. Hello kids! Today, you will learn about drawing inferences involving double bar graph. Last week, you interpreted and solved routine and non-routine problems about single and double bar graphs. Graphs are visual representation which can give information both directly and indirectly. In other words, readers sometimes may have to draw inferences or make conclusions based on the data presented. The double bar graphs are used to compare two sets of data. Both data sets have the same categories. The following are the things that we should remember before drawing inferences. First, determine the topic or title of the graph. Second, look at the axis, x and y axis, to understand the relationship that is being illustrated. And third, analyze the data in the graph presented. Let us study and analyze this example. The title is Food Choices. Here are the number of students. The double bar graphs are fried chicken, adobo, and sinigang. The legends, boys with gray bar graph and girls with black bar graph. The school canteen manager, Mrs. Mary Grace M. Andriga, asked the pupils of the Mesa Elementary School which they prefer to cook among fried chicken, adobo, and sinigang for their EPP HE cooking project. She organized the data and put them on a double bar graph. Look at the graph. Draw inference based on the data presented to answer the questions that follow. First question, which group, boys or girls, prefers fried chicken? Very good! The girls' group prefers fried chicken more than the boys' group. Second question, which food is least preferred by the pupils? Very good! The answer is, adobo is the least preferred food by the pupils. Number three, how many girls and boys chose adobo? Very good! There were 70 few fields chose adobo. 30 boys plus 40 girls equals 70. Fourth question. Using your inferential skills, which food has the greatest number of responses and why? Very good. The answer is, from the information given in the bar graph, it can be inferred that the greatest number of responses is sinigang. Why? Because there were only 90 students who like fried chicken, 70 students who like adobo, and 110 students who like sinigang. So the greatest number of responses is sinigang. Let us make another inference in this activity. If you toss a coin, what is the possibility that it will land on head? If you toss a coin, what is the possibility that it will land on head? In tossing a coin, there are two possible outcomes, either a head or a tail. The head and the tail have equal chances to show up. An outcome is a possible result in trial or experiment. In this activity, the possible outcome of landing a head is 1 out of 2 or 1 half. And now, try to do the following activities. 
Learning Task 1 Using a spinning wheel with yellow and red colors, Maria and Anna take turns of spinning the wheel for 10 times each. The results of the activity were shown below. Here is the result of the activity. So for Maria, 6 stops for yellow and 4 stops for red. And for Anna, 2 stops for yellow and 8 stops for red. And now let us present this data in a double bar graph with the title of spinning wheel. Then the name of Maria and Anna. The color of the bar graphs are yellow and red. So in this double bar graph, it shows how Maria and Anna spin the wheel and stop it in yellow and red color. And now let us answer the following questions. Number one, after Maria and Anna spun the wheel, what is the probability that the pin stop on yellow color and red color? Very good! The answer is, the possible outcome that the pin stop on yellow color is 1 out of 2 or 1 half. Number 2, which color has the most favorable outcome and least outcome? Very good! The answer is Red has the most favorable outcome and the least is yellow. Number 3. If they will continue spinning the wheel for another 3 trials only, which color do you think has the most number of favorable outcome and why? Very good! The answer is Red has the most number of favorable outcome because it has greater number of spin than the yellow. And now, let's do learning task 2. Use the data presented in the double horizontal bar graph below to answer the questions that follow. The title of the double bar graph is Fruit Sold for 2 Days. Below the number of kilograms, and on the left side, you will see the different kinds of fruits which are papaya, mango, chico, orange, lanzones. The blue bar graph is day 1 and the light blue bar graph is day 2. And now, let us answer the following question. Number 1. Which fruits sold the most number of kilograms for 2 days? Very good! The correct answer is... Oranges and lanzones sold the most number of kilograms for 2 days. Number 2. How many kilograms of fruits were sold in day 1 and in day 2? Very good! On day 1, which is in the blue bar graph, the kilograms of fruits sold is 360 kilograms. On day 2, the kilograms of fruits sold is 320 kilograms. Number 3. Which day had more kilograms of fruits sold? By how many kilograms? Very good! Day 1 had 40 more kilograms of fruits sold than day 2. Day 1, the fruits sold is 360 kilogram and in day 2, 320 kilogram. 360 minus 320 is 40 kilogram. So on day 1, it has 40 more kilograms of fruit sold than day 2. Number 4. How many kilograms of fruits in all were sold in 2 days? Very good! Day 1, there are 360 kilograms of fruits sold. Day 2, there are 320 kilograms of fruits sold. If we total them, 360 plus 320, there are 680 kilograms in all. The answer is, there are total of 680 kilograms were sold in 2 days. And number 5, according to the data presented in the double bar graph, which fruit like most? Very good! The answer is, according to the data presented in double horizontal, oranges and lanzones are the most like fruits 
because they both sold a total of 160 kilograms in two days. And now, let's move to learning task 3. Read, understand, and do the activity below. First, get a die. Second, roll the die. Put a mark in the tally column for the number of dots that landed on top. Third, do this experiment 30 times. Add the tally marks for each number of dots. Then write the number in the frequency column. Here is the data. Face of a die. For example, we play a dice and this is the result. So first, here is the tally. Frequency is 4. Second, we got 5. Number 3, we got 2. Number 4, we got 7. Number 5, we got 3. And number 6, we got 1. So this is just an example, kids. Answers may vary. And then number 4, express the favorable outcomes of the following number of dots below land on top. Write your answer on the space provided. So 1 is equals to 4, 2 equals to 5, 3 equals to 2, 4 equals to 7, 5 equals to 3, and 6 equals to 1. Learning task 4. Draw inferences based on the graph shown below by answering the questions that follow. So the title of the double bar graph is Favorite Sports. The legends are Black graph is for adult and the gray graph is for the youth. The favorite sports are basketball, soccer, and volleyball. So for the first question, between youths and adults, who like volleyball less? Correct! According to the data, the answer is the adults. Number 2. How many adults prefer basketball and soccer? Very good! According to the data, there were 30 adults prefer basketball and 15 adults prefer soccer. Number 3. How many youth like volleyball and soccer? Very good! According to the data presented, there were 25 youth like volleyball and 20 like soccer. Number 4. How many youths and adults favor basketball and volleyball? Very good! According to the data presented, there were 25 youths and 20 adults favor volleyball, while 25 youths and 30 adults favor basketball. And number 5, what are the most preferred sports of the youths and adults? Why do you think so? Very good! Based on the data presented, the most preferred sports of the youth are basketball and volleyball because of the same number of votes, while the most preferred sports of adult is basketball learning task 5 do the activity number one put three number of cards in a bag zero one or two number two draw one card from the bag without looking put a mark in the tally column for the number card put the card back into the bag number three do this process for 20 times Add the tally marks and write the number in the frequency column. Tally. The frequency is 5. Next, tally, frequency 6. Next is, tally, frequency is 3. And now, express the favorable outcome of the following. 0 is equals to 5. 1 is equals to 6. And 2 is equals to 3. Learning task 6. Draw inferences on the double bar graph below by answering the questions that follow. So the title of the double bar graph is Ice Cream Sales. Then, on the left side, you will see the number of ice cream sold. And then, the flavor of ice creams are chocolates, cheese, cookies and cream, 
vanilla. Then the legend, light gray color is boys. And the dark gray color is the girls. First question, what flavor of ice cream was sold least? Very good! The flavor of ice cream was sold least is ice cream with cheese flavor. Number 2. What was the total number of ice cream sold for both boys and girls? Very good! The total number of ice cream sold for boys is 70 number of ice cream. The total number of ice cream sold for girls is 80 number of ice cream. Number 3. If you combine the number of ice cream sold for both genders, how many chocolate-flavored ice cream were sold? Very good! 50 chocolate-flavored ice cream were sold because 25 for boys plus 25 for girls equals 50 chocolate-flavored ice cream. Number 4. What is the most loved ice cream flavor based on the sales? Why do you think so? Very good! Based on the data presented, chocolate flavor is the most loved ice cream because children love chocolates. And number 5, based on the graph, what gender loves to eat ice cream and why? So, very good! Based on the graph, girls loves to eat ice cream than the boys because girls love sweets. Now, let's do this activity. Jack and Poi, Rock, Paper, Scissor is a hand game played between two people. It has three forms, the rock, paper, and scissor. Let us do this activity. Put the tally mark. So first, get a partner. It's either older brother, sister, father, mother, or any member of your family to play against with. Then, number two, discuss how many points must one have to be declared as winner. Then number three, play the game. Number four, record your score. Number five, put marks on the tally column. Number six, do this experiment for 20 times. Number seven, answer the following questions. First question, how many times did Rock win in the activity? How many times did Paper win? And how many times did Scissor win? Then, which hands form one the most or the least? Answer may vary depending on the result of the experiment. Remember, graphs are visual representation which can give information both directly and indirectly. In other words, readers sometimes may have to draw inferences or make conclusions based on the data presented. The double bar graph are used to compare two sets of data. Both data sets have the same categories. So kids, do you understand our topic today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!